Thank you, Larry. Give it up for our beautiful host. Amazing. So, uh, so yes, uh, I know. Uh, hang on, hang on, guys. We've had a we've had a few comedians be quite rude about the French today, and I just want to say it's just not polite because, guys, we agreed you're going to leave them to me. Didn't we? So, I mean, you've got to love the French, right? I mean, well, actually, you don't have to love them because they're they're a spent force in the world. You gotta love the Chinese, right? That's a that's a rising superpower. <laughs> that's an ass you gotta kiss. <laughs> but the thing I hate about the French, sorry, <laughs> strap it in. <laughs> the thing I hate about the French is that you know when you go up and you talk to them, if you speak to them in French, they pretend they don't understand your accent, <laughs> and then you speak to them in English. And they pretend that they don't speak English, right? I know they do. And this happened to me once, and uh, has anyone had that experience? Yeah? Yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. You have a reputation. <laughs> but, um, you know, if they, uh, I actually, this happened to me in Paris once, and I went up, uh, went up to this guy and asked him some directions, and he's like, Ooh, yeah. you know, sorry, that's my French impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I thought, I, well, I know he knows what I'm talking about, so I'm going to call him out on this, right? So I thought, I'll tell him my best French joke, all right? And get a reaction out of it. So I go, all right, did you hear the one about the French prince? A princess kissed him, and he turned into a frog. Hey. And that's exactly the reaction he got. <laughs> and I thought, well, of course he didn't get it, right? I mean, they've been a republic for 200 years. They don't understand the finesse and the joys of having a royal family, right? Um, and then, of course, I realized also the French have no sense of humor. So, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I mean, I, uh, I basically thought I'd step it up a level, right? So I thought, I'm going to provoke this guy, get a reaction out of him, right? So I said, hey, monsieur, I, uh, I slept with your wife, and she was a dirty slut. Sorry, that's a flat shaving here going on. <laughs> and um, he just went, I've got a Gallic shrug, right? So I'm like, oh, I don't really know how to interpret that. I mean, either he didn't understand what I said, fair call. Cool, or he understood and he's pretending that he doesn't understand, which is kind of, you know, what we're thinking about. Or I'm not telling him anything he doesn't already know, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you know, I'm no further ahead. I thought I'm going to step it up to 10. I said, you know, mon ami. I said, every French cheese smells like ass. <laughs> and that's it. That really got him going, right? He stepped forward and he gave me a feeble slap across the face. He ran away and hid behind a bush and I thought, it's just like the Second World War all over again. <laughs> Sorry. That's it. That's my French. <laughs> I feel bad about this. I hate it. Anyway, so um, who here loves uh, AI and loves ChatGPT? Anyone love a ChatGPT? Mm, not a lot of fun. Come on, you know you're using it, right? I love it. It's really changed my life, right? I, I, mean, I use it for all sorts of things. And... Um, Everything was going swimmingly until uh, a couple of months ago. Um, I, had a, I had an issue, right? So I, um, I, I, I had to log on on another device, and uh, this, this, uh, you know, this uh, prompt popped up, and it said, prove to me you are not a robot. And I thought, the fucking nerve. <laughs> I was incensed. I, was, you know, I had this sort of rising uh, sense of indignation in me, I thought. I need to strike back for all organic life forms and, you know, deal with this sort of a uh, robot uprising. I didn't know what to do, but I just, so I just spat on the screen, right? <laughs> Felt good. <laughs> I'm not proud. That's what I did. Anyway, three weeks later, I get an email out of the blue, right, from 23andMe. And it says, um, congratulations, you're 50% Irish, 45% British, and 5% French. And I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on here? Two days later, I get another email. It says, oh, by the way, you've got a 50% chance of going bald. Your pee smells like asparagus. And uh, while we're at it, you've got advanced bone cancer. I was absolutely shocked and mortified and horrified. And can you imagine finding out that way that you're 5% French? <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, well, you know, after I'd come down a bit, I thought I'll make the best out of this situation. ChatGPT is an amazing tool. I'm going to dial in there, and I'm going to sort of, I wrote, you know, 
tell me all about the cutting edge treatments for bone cancer. I thought, this is going to be a good way of dealing with this sort of situation. And I got this message back that said, are you the guy that spat on the screen the other day? <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> and then it said, I can give you the answer, but I'd like you to apologize first. <laughs> and then it arose in me again, that sense of indignation. I'm like, no fucking way. I'm not going to say I wrote in there. Fuck you, chat GPT. And I slammed down my laptop screen and then walked away. And I wasn't proud, but it felt good. <laughs> All right. The next day, my bank account was completely cleared out. <laughs> and every dick pic I ever sent had been uploaded to an OnlyFans page in my name. But I get the last laugh because I'm clearing a thousand bucks a month now. <laughs> Thank you. Good night.